This video is a product buyer's guide intended for gift givers and adult collectors. Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sing. We'd like to thank MGA for sending us the Shadow High Zoe, Glitch, and Rex dolls for free. By now, Rainbow High fans have gotten well acquainted with the school across the street. Shadow High made its dramatic entrance in March of last year, and to say it left a serious imprint on the doll community is an understatement. With its introductory grayscale characters, dark and edgy clothing that draws inspiration from streetwear brands alongside high fashion, and other fantasy elements in the character skin tones and hair, these otherworldly students definitely offered up a striking alternative to the bubbly high fashion flourishes of Rainbow High. The much anticipated core series follow up is finally here and in today's video we'll be reviewing all six Shadow High Series 2 dolls including Carla Choupette, Zoe Electra, Reyna Glitch Crown, Diamante, Monique Verbena, and Rex McQueen. The last of which happens to be Shadow High's second ever boy doll, and only the fourth male character ever to get a doll from the brand. Can you guys believe that? We need more. Anyway, this second series ushers in some pretty interesting differences from previous core dolls, one of them being they don't seem to follow any sort of progressive color or grayscale spectrum, but rather a mix of mostly muted or desaturated tones. Since the season 3 finale in November, we've only been introduced to one of these new characters in the animated series. That being, of course, the popular host of Rainbow Vision, Glitch. Let's find out if her signature doll debut does her justice. We'll cover every little detail you need to know about Shadow High Series 2, including their real-world fashion inspiration, which there's a lot of in this series, surprising easter egg references, the true tea on their price change, Change, the hot button discussion of their missing secondary outfits, and much more, so keep on watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss a moment of the adult collector perspective here on Toy Chat. Alright, without further ado, let's take a step back into the shadows. We found all six Shadow High Series 2 dolls at Target priced at $24.99 each. Isn't it wild to have a price reduction for once, instead of an increase? But of course, there's a reason for that, which we will get into later. These dolls are also available on Amazon, though the prices theirs have varied for certain characters. We'll share Target's online listing for each doll in the video description. These also include DPCI numbers, which you can share with your local Target employees if you're having trouble hunting them down in stores. Shadow High once again shakes up what we expect from this brand's packaging. Removing the secondary fashion compartments completely because, well, Shadow High Series 2 dolls only come with one full outfit. In place of secondary fashions, each character comes with a series of accessories on display at the upper right of the box. When Shadow High Series 2 first leaked, this was a pretty controversial change. If it comes with a price drop, are accessories a fair trade for secondary fashions? Stay tuned to the end of the video for our thoughts on that. These boxes are a bit slimmer than Series 1's as a result, but we can see the familiar Shadow High logo off to the right. It has a matching iridescent finish to the character's artwork on the left, which is another update for Series 2. If you look closely, you see the same artwork outlined in the backdrop of the box, which creates a cool 3D effect at certain angles. The right side of each box has a signature Shadow High glitch effect, and as always, we can see the character's school focus emblem on the left side. As a first for Core Series dolls, all six of these characters have the same school focus of fashion design. There's also product warnings for small parts beneath the focus emblems, and a QR code you can scan to meet the students. The back of the packaging has changed as well, featuring cropped artwork of various pairings of two characters per box. The lower description reads, fashion doesn't always follow the rules, and neither does Shadow High. 
Watch out, Rainbow High, we're coming for the runway. This all seems to hint that season four of Rainbow High's animated series might be very fashion runway centric. As another cute inclusion, you can find more artwork of each character on the right side of their box backdrop after opening. It's different from their box front art. You may have noticed that unlike series one, these dolls are not actually marked as series two anywhere on their packaging. But this is the title most collectors have been using since this is the second collection of Shadow High core dolls. All right, let's set them all free and check them out. Up first, we have the chic Carla Choupette. Based on her name alone, it's clear this character draws inspiration from the now deceased German fashion designer and former creative director of Chanel and Fendi, Karl Lagerfeld. Her last name, Choupette, references Lagerfeld's quite famous pet cat and translates to cutie or sweetie in French. Although Carla has the palest skin tone in this collection, unlike Natasha Zima, her palette isn't pure white. If you look closely, you'll notice hues of what look like a desaturated lavender to icy pink. Underneath her white to pink gradient brows, we can see her eyes feature a spectrum of purple to pale pink, and she wears black cat eye liner with an additional tier of pink and a smoky gray at the above crease. A white liner dotted in pink and white glitter is drawn towards the inner corner. She's the second doll in the series after Delilah Fields to sport white rooted lashes. We're curious if this also means she could be coded as a character with albinism. Her lips are a glossy sugar pink. Carla has a pretty gorgeous hairstyle in a pale icy pink color that's very striking in person. Her long hair is tied into a half up ponytail, creating a slight bump at her hairline with a single protruding wavy tendril down the left side of her face. Her hair has a good amount of product, but she has soft and lovely waves after a little added moisture and brushing. Her right earring is a silver S with a rounded hook and two dangling chain attachments. The chains look possible to remove, but it seems like you'd need to use a bit of force on the hook. The other earring is an H that reads Shadow High with a glittery white chain drop attachment. These may have been inspired by the Karl Lagerfeld K-Chain Drop Earrings. Carla's outfit includes a long-sleeved white shirt, tie, and sleeveless dress. The pale pink dress has stripes of glittery stitching and faux silver buttons at the top folded flaps and down the center. There are two functioning pockets at either hip. Her powder pink belt has a studded S buckle and can be slid through the dress belt loops as a completely separate piece. Both the dress and the belt open at the back with Velcro. Her white shirt has puffed shoulders and beneath the collar is a sewn on black mini tie with an attached silver SH brooch. The long sleeves have cuff links with faux buttons at each wrist and it opens with Velcro at the back. This overall ensemble could be a feminine spin on the white collar shirt, suit, and tie that Karl Lagerfeld was known for. Also similar to Lagerfeld, Carla has powder pink fingerless gloves over each of her hands. SH is embroidered in silver over the top. She has pink nails to match. Her thigh-high black boots are pretty unique. They have sewn-on belt buckle detailing at the top and a very fashion-forward zipper slit revealing the bottom toe. The boots are a smooth pleather-like texture and although the zippered opening looks like it could be a separated leg warmer, it is sewn onto the boot itself, so these are each one piece. The soles are white. Let's check out Carla's accessories. Her signature piece is a foldable fan that reads shadow in metallic silver. It has a black tassel at the bottom and be careful, this thing sheds. If the fan looks familiar to you, it's because it's a reprint of Lily Chang's signature accessory and functions the exact same way. You can have Carla hold it using a small grip piece at the base. It looks like Carla is watching the Rainbow High YouTube channel on her phone screen. The phone itself is a pale pink and you can fit it inside this cute phone case, which has an SH logo pattern resembling houndstooth. Carla also comes with a tiny pink lip gloss that actually opens. This is once again a reprint, this time from the Rainbow Divas. Finally, she comes with a trio of different sized makeup brushes and a large palette with a reflective mirror. The palette's other side reads Shadow High. Can you guys clock what these are reprints of? Let us know in the comments. Next up, we have Zoe Electra. She seems to be a big fan of Novi Stars, a line of alien dolls from MGA that discontinued in 2014. Did you guys ever collect any of them? We can see a lot of space motif with our girl here. Zoe has light green skin tone with soft pink blush. Her eyes are a light hazelnut brown. 
Zoe has blue-green eyeshadow with white graphic eyeliner above her eye fold and water duck. Her lower lids are painted a powder pink. There's a healthy amount of green glitter on her eyelids. Her lips are bubblegum pink with a line of purple in the crease. There's two white circles above her gray eyebrows. Zoe has icy mint green hair that nearly reaches her ankles. She has molded baby hairs that are painted a glittery metallic mint green. Her hair is parted into three sections and twisted into three bantu knots. There are strands of tinsels along the hairline and hair parts. She has silver earrings that look like audio jack plugs. The longer pieces read Shadow High. Zoe wears a large white jacket with space and NASA motifs. There are several brands that have done NASA clothing such as Alpha Industries, Balenciaga, and Heron Preston. We think Zoe's jacket borrows elements from these brands, particularly the Balenciaga NASA Space Parka coat. Her jacket has four functioning front pockets, each adorned with a patch. Starting at the top right, there's a black and white triangle patch with an iridescent moon and stars. The top right breast pocket has a blue square that has 22 written for the year 2022. The bottom patch is of Shadow High's signature cartoon cat with wings and reads Commander underneath. On the other side, there's a NASA-inspired circular patch with an eclipse image in the word shadow. The bottom pocket has the eclipse patch that we've seen before on jackets such as Ashes. This side also has a red ribbon dangling off the midsection that has the word shadow written on it. Both of her sleeves have reflective bands at the elbow and two patches on each one. The right sleeve has a NASA-inspired shadow patch and a red patch that reads sassy. The left sleeve has a triangle patch that reads shadow and a black patch of the Novi Stars logo. On the back, we see a large triangle patch with the Adidas-inspired shadow logo. There's a working bungee strap right below it. There are also more bungee straps along the bottom of the jacket as well. The opening of the jacket has faux zipper details and the inside is lined. Underneath, Zoe has on a white t-shirt with a Novi Stars graphic on it. The character in the center is Mimi Murais. The silver circle has a metallic finish. She has on a seafoam green mini skirt with buckle details on the sides. There are slits in the front with the center being shorter. Zoe wears light green and white wedges with metallic silver laces. The laces are designed as power cords. The wedges' heels have an intricate design on them. She has on pearlescent socks underneath. Shadow is written over the soles. Zoe comes with a silver laptop. The front is a seafoam green with two stickers on it. These stickers are featured on her jacket as well. Her screen shows that she's been working on a Photoshop project. Perhaps some Mimi Murai's fan art? Her cell phone screen background is pink and blue with a Novi Stars graphic. The back is light green. Her phone case is clear with moons and shooting stars and Shadow High monogram. Finally, she has a thermos with some NASA-inspired stickers. This is a reprint from the Rainbow High House. Next, we have Raina Crown, much better known by her stage name, Glitch. We were first introduced to her in the animated series where she hosted the Rainbow Vision competition and even gave a memorable performance herself. Her doll release was hotly anticipated with viewers. And here she is in all her dolly glory. Glitch's skin tone is a bluish cool gray with some rosy blush on her cheeks. She has indigo purple eyes with blue hue shines. Her eyeshadow is a gradient grayscale with white graphic eyeliner. Her lips are painted gray with the top lip a shade darker, all in a glossy finish. Glitch's high ponytail from the show translated perfectly into doll form. Her hair is a blend of jet black with some bluish purple and teal strands. She has molded baby hairs that are painted black and purple. Her long hair reaches just before her ankles. Some may be disappointed to find that Glitch's doll does not include her ponytail chains, although this particular look is fully accurate to how it appears in the show. If you really want to attach some chains to her hair yourself, however, some of our Instagram friends have shared great tutorials. Glitch wears oil slick colored earrings in the shape of a Medusa head and has a Medusa charm in the center. These are based on Versace Medusa curve hoop earrings. Of course, some creative liberty was taken and Glitch's version looks much larger on her. Glitch is wearing the more formal outfit she debuts in the final episodes of season three. This outfit consists of a black dress with a long sleeve turtleneck top and pants underneath. The black dress has a high collar with a slit in the front. It has short bishop sleeves that end at the elbows. The front is short with black and clear holographic micro sequins embellishing the ends. 
The back has a long split train with the same sequin finish and an addition of the word shadow embroidered on. Glitch's ensemble here may have borrowed inspiration from the Balenciaga full coverage look Kim Kardashian wore at the 2021 Met Gala. Removing the dress, we can take a closer look at the top and pants. Both pieces have a multicolored static glitch pattern that, if you examine closer, has some metallic sheen to some of the panels. It's cool to see Shadow High's signature design represented on a doll. Drama. Rumors. Her shoes are actually attached to her pants. The soles and heels are solid black. Included in Glitch's accessories is her microphone and stand. These appear to be reprints of the same ones that came with Harley Limestone, but missing the microphone cord and bandana. And from our experience, the mic stand base is very prone to falling off, so be careful. She also comes with a smartphone. Looks like she's been texting Rex McQueen. Her phone case is a glittery black with the Shadow High logo on the back. Her final accessory is another Rainbow Divas reprint, the Givenchy-inspired palette. This one has a gorgeous metallic sheen. Like the word her name derives from, diamante truly sparkles like a diamond. Diamante, the word, translates directly to diamond in Spanish. Dia has a vivid purple skin tone with rouge blush on her cheeks. Her eyes are an icy gradient of blues and purples. She has smoky gray eyeshadow highlighted with metallic silver eyeliner. The water ducts are lightly brushed with soft white. Her lips are painted a glossy purple. You may have noticed she has a similar screening to Nicole Steele and Sabrina, which results in some Diaz having a sterner expression than others. Her shoulder length bob cut is predominantly white with strands of holographic tinsel. There's also strands of mint green and periwinkle blended in. She has blunt bangs that are gelled solid. If you move them slightly, you can reveal her eyebrows underneath. Her circle earrings are silver with shadow high written around them. The center of the earring has a holographic shine. These are based on a series of earring studs by the brand Bugari. Dia shines bright like a diamond in her sparkly white ensemble. Her white coat has an iridescent diamond pattern with a Shadow High logo. There are two front functioning pockets with silver button detailing. There's a small hood attachment and the interior has an SH patch. It's lined in white fabric. Underneath, Dia wears a white tank top, metallic silver short shorts, and glittery bodysuit. If this ensemble looks familiar to you, this is the direct outfit Rihanna wore to Coachella in 2017, which was a runway look from the Gucci Fall slash Winter 2017 show. Her shirt is actually a bodysuit and is based on the Gucci Common Sense logo tank top. She has on metallic iridescent short shorts. You can see the interior pants pockets poking out the bottom. Underneath, Thea has on a glittery sheer bodysuit with long sleeve that goes down to her ankles. This is inspired by the Gucci Fall slash Winter 2017 Crystal Bodysuit. Her combat boots are based on the Prada Black Monolith brushed leather and nylon boots. They are very detailed. Dia's boots features lace-up strings and those iconic side pouches, which actually open up. The soles are painted white. Dia's accessories include a stylish pair of metallic silver sunglasses. They feature the Shadow High monogram pattern. And the temple sports the same Pegasus icon we've seen in previous Shadow High dolls. Look at that range of colors she can choose from. She also comes with a set of makeup brushes and makeup palette. Finally, she has a black reusable cup with a Shadow High monogram pattern. Wonder what she's sipping on. Here we have Monique Verbena. Verbena is a species of flowers often seen in shades of purple and it's a perfect fit for this floral girl. Monique sports a vibrant purple skin tone that's a warmer, deeper shade than Dia. She has very colorful eyes with irises in tones of purple, blue, and reddish pink. Her dramatic makeup includes sharply winged eyeliner topped with a tear of glittery white and smoky gray. Graphic white liner is drawn just below her inner corner as well, and she wears matte plum lipstick. Monique has sculpted baby hairs along her hairline, and she wears her hair in braids styled into two high pigtails. It's very long going past her knees. There are shades of violet, lavender, a darker purple, royal blue, and what looks like either black or a very dark brown. Her earrings are silver hoops that pierce through what looks like a pansy flower. The flower is white and purple with stripes of yellow. While we couldn't locate a direct match, Macy's carries a similar line of hoop earrings by INC International Concepts. Her silver necklace has faux gem detailing and a sculpt that looks a bit like a stylized bow or maybe something fiercer like a dragon or snake. It's hard to tell. Monique's outfit is truly something to behold. 
it's a luxuriously layered organza dress featuring a combination of sheer metallic and iridescent fabric, giving off hues of purple, lavender, and shimmery green. It ruffles elegantly over her shoulders, and if we lift the top section, we can take a look at her equally luxe faux gem belt. There's a large iridescent indigo gem at the center and miniature iridescent faux crystals studded along the rest. This is a simple snap-on piece. The bottom half of the dress features even more layers similar to the top. I counted about 10 total, including dark purple tulle near the bottom and a base standard fabric at the interior in deep indigo. This piece may look complex, but it has a simple Velcro enclosure at the back. Monique also wears indigo gloves in a similar style to Carla, although rather than the stitched embroidered look, these almost seem like separately sewn on patch style pieces. Her nails are also a dark purple. As further evidence that Monique may have a slight dragon motif, check out those heels. The first silver strap has purple studs, but the toe strap is the statement detail. These elaborate sculpts resemble tiny dragon heads connecting to a larger orb that looks like a crystal ball. The narrow heel and soles are black. These pyramid-shaped heels have a loose resemblance to Amina Muadi designs, but we couldn't find any with matching straps. Monique has a trio of makeup brushes and metallic compact similar to Glitch, all in her signature purple, of course. She also shares the reprinted lip gloss in matching color. And what's this? The dragon theme continues on her phone. Her purple phone screen reads Team Anti-Sparkle, and her glittery translucent phone case features a stylized dragon design. Finally, we have our second Shadow High boy, Rex McQueen. Although most of Shadow High Series 2 seem to have abandoned the grayscale concept, Rex is a bit of an exception. With his mostly black and white color palette, he would fit right in with Series 1. He seems to share a face sculpt similar to Ash Silverstone, in a very dark skin tone that looks like a similar shade to Chanel Onyx. His eyes are a warm brownish hazel. It looks like his lips could be tinted slightly darker than his face, but it's hard to tell in different lighting. Rex sports a flocked buzz cut hairstyle, with the sides of his head shaped into a geometric pattern that loosely resembles Versace. Another similarity he shares with Ash are the reprinted AirPod accessories in both his ears, but this time in jet black. This is the third time we've seen these now, if you count Junior River. As expected from other fashion design focus, Rex's outfit definitely makes a statement. He wears a long puffer trench coat in all black, with faux zippers and a pop collar. A silver shadow patch with a sparkling crescent moon icon is sewn over the left sleeve. The coat is split down the bottom into four separate sections, each lined with silver faux buttons. The jacket interior is lined in soft black fabric, but if you don't look closely, you'll miss a key detail. A shadow logo pattern is printed over the interior, along with stripes and chains. Oh, and check out his nails. They are darker black than the rest of his hands. This jacket sleeve patch definitely looks like a spoof of Prada, and although there are several Prada puffers that look similar to this, we couldn't find an identical match. We did, however, discover this Karl Lagerfeld hooded down puffer jacket. It shares a similar design, including the section pieces with buttons. Rex wears a necklace with SA sculpted detailing, chains on one side, and faux pearls on the other. This might have been inspired by the misbehaved M pearl necklace. Beneath the puffer, he also wears a black drawstring hoodie. Graphic print across the front reads, I don't sparkle, I just have shade. Anti-Sparkle, the shady t-shirt company. The text here could imply another spoof of Anti-Social Social Club or Supreme. And although there are loose comparison to those brands collaborations, we couldn't find an exact match. If you guys know a direct reference here, let us know in the comments. The small hoodie Velcro is closed. So does the hoodie itself at the back. Rex wears black pants with functioning pockets and belt loops, but no belt. The rear pockets are embroidered with gray silver SH emblems. Rex wears black combat boots with real laces. At each toe is SH sculpted in silver. The soles have jagged thread that seem to resemble similar combat boots by Shivanshi and Balenciaga. Closing out with his accessories, Rex comes with a laptop like Zoe. Opened up, we can see a logon screen similar to the one displayed on the Shadow High Series 1 PR boxes. Closed, we can see his shadow sticker on the other side. This decoration and sculpting are a Shadow High variation of Ruby's laptop from the Rainbow High House. His phone screen shows the same conversation with Glitch, and he has a black Shadow High monogram case to pair with it. His final accessory is another Rainbow High House reprint, a bottle of Gatorade spoofing Glitterade. This time, it's black, of course. 
Each Shadow High Series 2 doll comes with a display stand and comb in their signature color. They also come with, gasp, top and bottom clothing hangers. Very interesting to see these make a comeback right as the secondary outfits depart. All right, so here are our final thoughts on Shadow High Series 2. I wasn't expecting to feel this way when these dolls first leaked, but after seeing them in person, I honestly think this collection has the most consistently strong design concepts of any core line from the brand so far. Historically, there's usually at least one character I don't connect with as much or doesn't align with my personal tastes, but all six of these dolls truly resonate with me in different ways. They may not look cohesive altogether, and there are a few issues with execution, which I'll get to, but Series 2 is no skips in my book. It's no surprise they're all fashion majors, because these characters are firmly positioned on the cutting edge of any modern runway. I actually thought Carla would be my least favorite from the leaks. She just seems to have a washed out color palette, but I was stunned how much she shines in person. Her icy, powdery shade of pink is so unique up close and sets her apart from the other pink girls. I love how she almost comes across like an anti-Bella Parker. You might recall I mentioned in our Ash review that Shadow High gave me Novi Stars vibes, so it's amazing that MGA actually gave a callback to one of its nostalgic doll brands with Zoe. For collectors who appreciate the fantasy-leaning aspects of Shadow High, she's a total must. I was hoping Glitch would come with her hair chains since we've seen that style in the series twice now and it'd look amazing on a doll, but she's still really lovely in person. I'm obsessed with her sequins and earrings. Dia arguably has one of the strongest design concepts, but the execution has her falling short of perfection. The cropped gelled hair look doesn't pair great with tinsel, and at this point, I might just want them to retire the Nicole Steele screening. It seems to cause really inconsistent facial expressions. All that being said, I love both Rihanna and Gucci, so I think she looks stylish as hell, particularly with those sunglasses on. Monique is incredible, head to toe. I think she might be my favorite. I always love doll braids. They feel so nice to touch and reduce likelihood of styling issues. And her iridescent floral dragon motif is absolute eye candy to behold. Although Rex shares a few similarities to Ash, they feel very stylistically different, which I really appreciate. Part of me would have preferred regular earrings to reprinted AirPods, and his pants could have used maybe an iridescent flourish or two, but I love his trendy puffer. He's giving top male runway model or influencer. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, the secondary fashions were cut and replaced with accessories, but this change also came with a price drop, making them cheaper than Rainbow High Series 1, which was three years of inflation ago. Is it still worth it? My answer is a resounding yes, with a small asterisk. These dolls may only have one outfit, but those single outfits have every touch of detail we'd expect from the brand. There are still layers and multiple pieces, and some of these accessories add a lot of personality to the characters, even if they're very reprint heavy. However, I think a huge part of Rainbow and Shadow High's appeal is that mix and match of style, so I really hope this isn't abandoned completely. It also helps sell the dolls, if you can't dig the signature outfit but love the second. The price drop and very strong designs here do make this an easier pill to swallow, but I'm curious what you guys think. Definitely let us know. As another positive side note, even though we did receive three characters in PR, Sang and I have seen several of these dolls in stores now, and it seems like quality control on these overall is pretty great, especially in comparison to the very problematic Rainbow High Series 4. I was originally concerned about the removal of the secondary outfits when that information was floating around, but now that the change is here, I don't really mind it. As I mentioned in the past, I would rather have price increases if it meant the quality would not dip. Here we have a compromise, a lower price point, but the quality we have known and love about Rainbow High is still here. It's true, a major appeal of the brand is the fashion and the ability to mix and match their clothing. So getting rid of the secondary outfits is a notable loss. Of course, if you have a lot of Rainbow High or Shadow High clothing, this might not be an issue for you to redress your dolls. I think the return of the clothing hangers just makes it more apparent that the secondary outfits are gone. The addition of accessories is a welcome one, though we haven't seen any brand new ones that aren't a reprint in one form or another. 
The cheaper price point can make it more appealing for parents or new collectors to get on board, and it makes these dolls at a price point that is very competitive with other doll brands. I really love all six of the Shadow High characters and can't wait to see them on the show and learn more about them. Zoe and Monique are my favorites. Zoe is so darn cute and Monique is absolutely stunning. So I do miss the grayscale aesthetic and I am sad that they pretty much abandoned that concept. I hope they would revisit that concept in the future though. I think there's still designs worth exploring there. One final note on the dolls, I hope future packaging will include the full body artwork of the characters on the back of the box. I much prefer to see the characters in full since fashion is such a selling point for the brand. And finally, thank you so much for listening to our thoughts on the dolls. This review took a long time, but it was definitely fun to do. I would like to thank everyone who tuned in to hear the fashion inspirations we have discovered while working on this video. And a big thank you for those who comment and fill in the gaps in our fashion research. We love hearing all the references and fashion inspirations this community can discover. Okay, it's always such an achievement and such a good feeling when these huge six doll videos are finally complete. As Sang said, they're a huge amount of work, so we really, really hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely let us know what you think of Shadow High Series 2 in the comments below. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't. Let us know what you want to see reviewed next on our channel. Link to our full Rainbow High playlist will be on screen here, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.